Galnet News, your galaxy in focus. 26th of April, 3301. In today's news, the Merchant Marines launch Operation Papercut. Hudson praises the Merchant Marines. Odyssey Expedition's figurehead in Drunken Rampage. Senator Torval apologizes for Centini's slave setback. A travel advisory for NGC 6124. And more details emerge in the assassination investigation. Our top story today. Reports coming in over the last few days from Eotinsas indicate that a group of federal commanders known as the Merchant Marines are currently engaged in a series of unauthorized attacks against Imperial traders in the employ of Senator Petraeus. In a statement released to Galnet, the Merchant Marines had this to say. The Merchant Marines have launched Operation Paper Cut. We plan to blockade the Eotinsas system in an attempt to stop Imperial traders from supplying Parkinson Dock with industrial materials. The group fears that high-tech production could turn Eotinsas into a catalyzer for the Imperial War Machine already fueled by Denton Petraeus. The Marines intend to interdict all traders in the system and thus halt economic growth. Traders will be given a single warning to leave the system. Any further action will result in more aggressive coercion. Galnet reached out to President Halsey's office to request an official statement in regards to the Merchant Marines' actions. At the time of press, the President's office had not yet chosen to reply. Some news on Shadow President Hudson now, who returned to Mars today where a throng of eager reporters waited to get the latest scoop on the Shadow President's campaign to remove President Halsey from office. Instead, the Shadow President had some choice words to say about the Merchant Marines and their unsanctioned operations in Empire space. He said, I hear there's been a lot of nasty accusations flying around Congress the last few days. Some have even used words like agent provocateur, rebels, terrorists. All used to describe the brave men and women fighting to preserve our safety out there in the black. Well, I have another word for you. Heroes. The Empire is ramping up for war, we can all see that. It's only a matter of time before they set their eyes on Sol. Will we just sit here and watch them come? Is that how the birthplace of civilization is going to fall? Obviously, I can't condone federal forces operating in Imperial space. Certainly, Congress didn't authorize any such action. However, I can't help but respect those brave fools for what they're trying to do. Get home safe, Commanders. We'll be waiting for you when you do. Shadow President Hudson has been active in the past few weeks in both his criticism of federal President Halsey, whom he is seeking to remove from office over numerous claimed mistakes in policy, and his praise and encouragement for the federal military forces. He has encouraged the youth of the Federation to forego their virtual reality pastimes and pursue a career in the Federal Navy, and has been sharp in calls to clamp down on uprisings and rebellions in the Federation, which have been plentiful in recent months. This latest move allies him with a major power group in the Federation both in terms of trade and military, a move which could win him vital support when the time is reached for a decision over the future of the Federal Presidency. Over to some shocking news from Seoul now, where Odyssey Expedition's spokesman, Ranger M, is now in hospital after a disturbing incident in the Groombridge 34 system. The recent media sensation and face of exploration and colonization was seen getting intoxicated in a nightclub on Abraham Lincoln Station, boasting about his accomplishments and upsetting patrons. He said something about spending all his money on a fully upgraded asp and wanted to celebrate. Boy, did he ever. He didn't just buy everyone drinks, he dragged in people off the streets, bought them drinks too. Hey, everyone comes to a place like this to party, but this guy, he was off the rails, shouting out, I'm Ranger M, like that made him God or something. I mean, what's up with that? That jerk offered me 200,000 credits if I would kiss him. Who does he think I am? I think the most disturbing part was when he stood up in the bar and took off his mask. Jeez, I thought all that stuff about Scarring was just media hype, you know? But dang, that is one ugly. Ranger M was seen leaving the bar with known mercenary Ivan Shevchenko and headed for a nearby combat zone in Groombridge 34. We have this audio and footage recovered from his black box. Here we go, you, you want some of this, you want some of this. Yeah, 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 here we go. Yeah, die, friggin' rebels, scum. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Six guns, baby. Six guns. You think you can take me on? You need to take me on. I, I'm Ranger M. Ranger. Ranger M. Oh, crap. Odyssey Expeditions was not available for comment at this time. Last weekend, the Imperial Slavers Association was supposed to make 5 million Imperial slaves available for a significant discount in the markets aboard Lagerkavist Gateway. Much to the dismay of hundreds of eager Imperial traders, the slaves, and their associated discount, were delayed by members of Princess Lavini Duval's retinue as they attempted to pass through LTT 9810. This unfortunate snafu meant that the ISA was unable to make good on Senator Zemina Torval's promise. Reports from those close to the Senator state that Zemina was furious when she learned that Princess Orissa's agents had seized her shipment. However, in the light of the Silver Allied Network incident, the Senator is said to have seen the wisdom of the investigators' actions. In a statement released earlier today, Senator Torval had this to say, it is with deep embarrassment that I must apologise to all those whose businesses were unfortunately affected by the ongoing investigation into the attack on our beloved Emperor. I have no doubt that Senator Lavini's agents acted with the Emperor's best interests at heart, as do we all. Indeed, I urge those hard-working loyalists to come partake in the fantastic selection of discounted produce we have available for sale in Centini. A fresh shipment of Imperial slaves is currently being prepared for sale at Lagerkvist Gateway. The sale is now officially underway, as promised, but stock levels will remain low until the new shipment arrives in Centini later this week. Senator Torval acquired several million regulated Imperial slaves earlier this month, outdoing rival Ashling's Angels, operated by Imperial descendant Ashling Javal, by a factor of roughly two to one. Torval's promise had been that the ISA would retrain these slaves and put them up for sale in celebration, a move sure to anger Javal, whose aim is to put an end to imperial slavery altogether, a practice she calls barbaric, but a view that puts her at odds with many powers in the Empire. In travel news, an advisory has been issued for NGC 6124. This system should be avoided, but not due to solar storms. Explorer Lance Spacecat D, last name withheld, warped in system only to find himself inside the corona of the system's B star, which is abnormally close to the A star. He only survived the experience thanks to quick reflexes, an auto field maintenance unit, and the ruggedness of his scorched Type 6, now nicknamed the Sun Diver. He reprimands the system's previous explorer, name withheld, for not issuing such a travel advisory. Once again, that's a travel advisory for all pilots heading to NGC 6124. In Empire news, just when it looked like the trail was turning cold, a new clue has been uncovered in the investigation into the attack on the Emperor. According to forensic accountants working on behalf of Princess Lavini Duval, the evidence suggests that rogue members of Silver Alliance Network channeled funds for the attack through Silver Universal PLC. The credits were then sent to an account in the HR706 system. Sources close to the investigation informed Galnet that the clue was actually uncovered several days ago, but certain groups within the Empire had been slow in granting the Princess's fleet unrestricted access to the system. Whatever the truth, Princess Lavini Duval has finally sent word for her fleet to begin dismantling all crime syndicates operating in HR706. It is believed that the Emperor's Grace has lodged a formal complaint with the Senate over Senator Lavini's incursion into their system, but so far the complaint has gone unanswered. Imperial citizens interested in aiding the Princess with her investigation are being asked to report for active duty aboard Laming Orbital. That's the Galnet News for today. Tune in next time to keep your galaxy in focus. <laughs>